She's YouTube's very own queen of pop. Trisha Paytas, the Heartbreak Tour, coming to a city near you. Are you ready to get freaky? now at theheartbreaktour.com okay hey guys we are in the recording studio today we are fresh off our music video yesterday and we are just getting back to it so i'm gonna actually release iconic as a single it was supposed to be on i was supposed to release a double album like now but um hi may our engineer is super busy with people recording people so we just really haven't had the time to get in with him but we're still working on the albums they're still gonna come out but since we filmed the video iconic and i already have that ready to go I was gonna go ahead and release it as a single. Um, I got this cute little Harley shirt on with my jeans. Uh, my belly is full because I ate so much pizza and pasta last night, but you know what? I still look good. And sometimes even when you have your cheat days and you go off your diet a little, I've still been working pretty hard and I still look good. Like I'm not exactly where I need to be or want to be, but I'm here and I'm confident. And also if you pull your pants up a little bit over your gut, you can be even more confident, but yeah, I'm super excited. We're about to record a song called After Love. Welcome to the After Love. Mm, mm, mm. And I'm feeling in such a good space to sing this song. So like when I'm like sad, I try and do my sad songs. And because I've been so positive and actually like truly feeling good, I'm like, I want to, I want to, I want to write this anthem. I want to record this anthem of, you know, feeling good after a breakup. There's a lot of sad breakup songs, which I love listening to too, but you got to just take back your power. And like, it's such a good song. It's like, no more chains. The sudden thing I'm breaking free. You'll see. It's like it's just about like, you know, I wanted love, I would have given anything, but now it's over now and it's like I'm gonna do me. That is just what you gotta do. And it's so hard and you need to take that time to like cry and grieve and be so sad about it. And I took a lot of time and I hated him and I was bitter towards him and now I am I'm like, okay, that was the relationship, and now I, I you know, and I, I finally started finding people, like, attractive again, and, like, wanting to, want, like, there's a couple people lately that I've been, like, oh, I could see myself dating this person, which I never, and I, I was so scared I wasn't going to feel that again, because I wasn't finding anyone attractive, I didn't want to go on dates, I wasn't feeling motivated, and there's a couple people that I've been, like, you know, when we flirt and stuff, I'm like, this feels good, this feels like, I'm feeling, like, passion for someone again, and it's, 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 a good feeling and when you feel that way it's like it does come back you always think i will never well i always think i'm never gonna love that person i'm never gonna find someone that lo i love as much as that person that i just was with but you do and you get those butterflies all over again and you may even find a better match a lot so a couple people yesterday were like i can't wait and so you meet your one and you're gonna be like thank god all that happened because i i know that's gonna happen and um i'm just feeling good so this song i'm really excited to record and i'm waiting i'm the first one here because you know I'm on it like that. Oh, I'm sorry you're not running in our circle. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. My mom got her fancy flip flops on. Right. On my Instagram story. Suck the men in here at the grocery store. <laughs> she changed her black flip flops to that because she thought she might meet the man of her dreams no. at Bonds. No, I don't. No. We also love this car. I don't know. I, we want it. What is it? Wow. I want to drive in a wagon. Volkswagen. Really? GW. That's sick. Oh, I look rough. Who looks like this when they go to their parents' house? Always me. I was like, when you go to your parents, <laughs> actually, huh? You look good, actually. Well, this morning I looked real crazy because my hair was all oh. over the place. I but you did this part, I reckon. well, a little. I didn't want to look too crazy going out. My too. skin is broken out because I slept in my makeup like every single night this week. So, wait, you want the chairs? Oh, the flamingo chairs. Oh, We're at Vons. I haven't been to a grocery store in so long, and I'm so excited. Oh, I love a grocery store moment. Got the same off on as yesterday. We're gonna get some food, burgers, mac and cheese. I told my mom to try the tie dye drink from Starbucks because she has the eating. If you guys don't know, she has an eating video, eating channel. Oh, Check it out, that. Lana Pata. Ooh. It's like so dark in here. here. Oh, look at Buzz Lightyear! here. Oh my God. You guys have such a cool flower selection. Ours I definitely know, not have that. I love that color. Yeah, that's beautiful. Wow. Okay, <laughs> I feel like I've never been in a grocery store. 
Like that is the ice cream challenge. I just said that we can do the ice cream are you challenge. Have you seen people do it? I didn't know that was a thing. I it's like not, oh. but people are doing it and they're getting arrested. I, well, yeah, I've seen it. Also, I already mentioned it. I just noticed the ice cream challenge. <laughs> Mom coming for my identity. She doesn't sponsor my videos at all. That's so weird. <laughs> I just put it on this. Right, so you don't Trisha, know. that's so funny. I love these things. No, I asked my mom should do the ice cream challenge. Like, what's that? Yeah, people are like looking at ice creams. It's disgusting. I know. One more had that scooped it out with his hand. Oh, God. Oh, you do not watch my videos because I had that on my head. Your videos are they good. I watch them. Pops in front of the ice cream section like this. I'm like, really? Do you think oh, you yeah. put a lock on them like you do your razors? I saw now they have um, locks. They have locks on the ice cream. Oh, do they, they do? now? Yeah, I saw that today on Twitter. That's so gross. That's like the nastiest I thing. I them Arizona iced teas. Oh. I saw that too. Oh, I saw a caption that says, this is why I get the second thing from the back. <laughs> Didn't your mama talk? You did. We always yeah. grab the second thing from the back. It's so funny. Ooh, I can bars. I'm so obsessed with like protein bars and stuff. So good. Anyways, I haven't been in a grocery store in so long. This is all very exciting to me. I look awful today. Literally, the difference between makeup Trish and wig Trish is night and day. People are like, she has a different personality when she has hair and makeup on. I'm like, yeah. All the confidence. Ice cream. I'm like so scared to eat it because of all the ice cream challenge. But we got the Toy Story. We got this one just because it says Big Gay Ice Cream. We everything. And then I got this because my mom said this was the best, the Magnum. We're gonna do our own ice cream challenge at home. Okay. <laughs> my favorite meal, potatoes, mac and cheese, and burger. Whoa, those look bomb. Mm. My mom knows how to cook. Do you ever do this for nothing? thing? It should be your eating challenge, did we? Oh my God, this is so good. I'm so excited yeah, that mac and cheese. Oh, that is really good. You, you did that? perfect today. Oh my god, look at my mom. She got the toasted buns ready. Wanna taste it? Sure. Yeah, <laughs> switch sides. Wow, this looks so good. Mmm. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's like perfect. Low and slow. Wow. That's my favorite thing in the world. Mmm! Mom and the pillow every time is so fun. Mm -hmm. Something I don't make that you like is cheese and chips and soft and cheese. Huh? Isn't that weird? I never make chips and cheese. Mm -hmm. I do that a lot though when I go out, like QT Factory and stuff, so. Mm -hmm. I crave this. Good. Did you already do this video? No. I feel like you did. Oh, which one can I like? <laughs> yeah, I did. Oh. Your little notes. My little notes. You All gotta right. remember. <laughs> you guys, I look awful. This is how oh I look God, when I meet people. Crazy. What the this fuck? <laughs> I told her I've never had a reaction like this. She's like crying. And I was like, why are you? First of all, I look hideous. So that's probably why you're crying. I was like, I'm no, crazy I look person. Amazing, you look great. <laughs> I look awful. She looks like this is a on brand. I imagine everybody watching my videos just cries on like a dress. I was like, oh my gosh, I love it. She doesn't have a YouTube channel. We just spent five minutes figuring that out. I was like, wait, you do or you don't? But yeah, she's everything, and Florida. she's had her first coffee thing, which I don't understand yeah. that either, but you just- We don't have it in Florida. Oh, you don't have it. Got it, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's why, yeah. And I was so confused. I'm sorry I look so disgusting today. I literally <laughs> rolled out of bed. It's, okay, it's, it's okay. gross. I'm like getting it all together, I'm, but I'm, anyways. I'm speaking this really well. I mean, besides the fact that I'm like bawling, I'm, I'm really You should start myself. bawling. It was the craziest reaction, and I was so confused, but I kind of live for it. I was like, <laughs> Uh, anyway, really <laughs> we love, we love. <laughs> you guys, I look awful. This is how oh I look God, when I meet people. Crazy. What the this fuck? Girl, I told her I've never had a reaction like this. She's like crying. And I was like, why are you? First of all, I look hideous. So that's probably why you're crying. I was like, I'm no, crazy I look person. Amazing, you look great. I look awful. She looks like this is a on brand. I imagine everybody watching my videos just cries on like a drop. So I was like, oh my gosh, I love it. She doesn't have a YouTube channel. We just spent five minutes. Okay, guys, we're leaving breakfast. Somewhat dressed up today. Um, my hair looks awful because I'm about to go get it transformed. Um, yeah, I haven't changed my hair in ever. I had my natural hair when I was obviously a child. And then my mom started like kind of bleaching it once I was like 12 because I like begged her to let me go blonde like Britney Spears. And in my head, I've always wanted to be bleached blonde. Like I would see playmates and I'm like, I want to be bleached blonde. Like that was always my thing. I still think bleach blonde hair is amazing. I think it's beautiful. I think my hair 
obviously <laughs> going through styling and bleaching for that many years, it's just taken a toll. And the crazy thing is I used to get so many compliments on my hair. I'm gonna go into Starbucks in a second, but I used to get so many compliments on my hair when I was, you know, when I was young. People would always be like, oh my God, you have so much hair. It's like, you know, like I always, like just everywhere I'd go, people were like, wow, you have so much hair. Like, oh my God, your hair. Like, it was just like a thing that I just had this amazing hair when I was a kid. Um, and so, I, yeah, anyways, I put out a thing. There was a guy I wanted to go to in Orange County, like really just begged, begged, begged to get in. And he was just busy. And it's not even like he's, I wouldn't even say he's like a celebrity stylist or anything like that. Um, you know, he just, he has some Instagram followers. A friend of mine re recommended him and, and he just was busy, which is fine. I'm never going to be like, take me. But like, he was just, he was just constantly busy. And he was like, I'm, I'm trying to see if someone will cancel, but no one was canceling. And you know, a girl like has to go through something serious to want her hair change, especially me. I've gone through breakups in the past, but none of them have affected me and wanting to change. Not necessarily who I am. I like who I am, but just change, like get new vibes in me than this last breakup. And I think it's just because I really felt like I lost, I really felt like I screwed it up and I screwed up my life in a way, you know, I really thought we would be married and all that stuff like that. And it's like the first breakup that I'm really just can't get over and I want to get over. And I thought, you know what, Trish, just change. I'm working on moving, changing my surroundings and I'm going to change my hair because I feel like that's going to make a thing. And I know a lot of people are like, oh my God, Trish, like get over it. But like, as you guys know, I mean, I'm I'm not, I'm trying, I'm not over it. It still hurts me like every day. I still feel so bad and I have so much guilt and regret every single day and um, just hurt and pain and sadness and I wanna let it go. And honestly, I just need a new, a new vibe, a new change. I think that's gonna like mentally make me feel better. You guys see when I get my hair and makeup done, I feel like a different person. Even today, like putting on a cuter outfit, I've been kind of like living in like sweatpants. I took myself to breakfast and like, if you know, if you're ever going through like a depression, a couple of things. One, get active. I haven't danced in about a week, and I really miss it. I'm gonna start dance rehearsals tomorrow for my tour. My skin. Two, try and eat better. I did just eat a big breakfast, but I try and have like a celery juice throughout the day at some point. That makes me feel better, um, and I haven't had that in the past week either. And three, like just get out of your house. I know that sounds so simple, but. If you can just like leave your house. I haven't left my house in like two days and I started feeling myself get dark again. But I'm telling you, as soon as I like put on an outfit and left my house, I instantly was like, okay, I'm out in the real world. Like this guy came up and talked to me at breakfast, which normally that doesn't happen. And normally I wouldn't like, but he was so sweet and so kind and he gave me a compliment and I looked terrible. You know what I mean? Like it was just nice to like converse with people and socialize. So yeah, those are my three tips for depression. It doesn't like cure it, it does help it. And also stay busy. Like last week I was so busy and I was feeling so good about myself. So also stay busy. All right, I'm gonna go get a Starbucks. Maybe it's something to match my outfit, like a cranberry drink. Today is going to be a positive day. I can already tell. I definitely need a new setup for inside this car. Yes, I am so excited. Um, the lady, I believe her name was Helen or Helena. I couldn't see her, or Helena. I couldn't see her full, um, her full name oh my god did you just hear that Ow. i cracked my nose she was just like i just want to tell you i love your videos you're so funny i was oh. you guys you don't even know like i know this is like a breakup thing but also like just drama i've had earlier this year of just like literally everyone hating me and like nothing i'm doing is right and views going down and you just think like everyone hates you like what am i even doing and then you meet people like i say this all the time when i meet people like honestly you meet people and then like your whole your whole like I don't know, just mindset changes. And you're like, no, I really, really like making videos. Like, I love doing this. Like, yes, some people hate me. Some people think of me in a different light. And like, there's nothing, there's literally nothing I can do to change that other than just continue being me and show that I'm like trying to grow every day and every year of my life. I, it's hard. Also, I gotta, this matches my outfit. Like how, I kind of want to get another one when I have my cute hair so I can take like a cute picture because this is kind of everything. It matches my outfit. It's, cut me off. It's the dragon drink and it's so good. I don't know how to describe it. It's just like a refresher. Mm. It's amazing. I just wanted it to look cute. And yeah, I'm feeling good. Like, here's the thing. Like, like I'm still like grieving the loss of my relationship. And like with each day, I think it becomes more, sorry, I'm gonna, it becomes a more 
it's becoming more real, I guess. It's been a couple months since we even talked. But, like, now it's becoming more real that it's, like, this isn't, there's no going back, there's no fixing it. And I think that's what kind of makes it harder is because I always thought, oh, well, there's a chance and all of this, you know? And so I think that's what makes it kind of harder for me. Just Or it's just more painful. I wouldn't even say it's harder. It's just becoming more painful. And, um, but, you know, we get through. And I'm going to be super busy these next literally this next week and then the week then the weekend because of touring i'm going to colleen's show this weekend then the following weekend is my show and then i have rehearsals i'm going on a really popular like podcast thing next week um not logan's but someone else's my period's coming y'all i've been craving salty and sweet So, I'm going to be busy, which is good for me. I'm going to have new hair, which I know is going to make me feel so much better. Like, literally, it could be any color. I don't even fully know. I gave him some, like, pictures of what I like, but all those pictures were so vastly different. And also, I was just like, also, you can just do whatever. So... If I'm being honest, I would like something dark on my root and blend it down either into blonde. I don't want to be all dark, but I want something drastically different where I want some darkness around my face or just throughout. So we'll see. I don't even know what to expect, y'all. I'm nervous. Oh. because I know it's going to change my whole it really does change your mood like hair and makeup can change your mood which is why I should do my makeup I always say this I keep telling everyone I'm going to start doing my makeup again because I know it does make me feel better it's just like I need to get my makeup all in one spot I have old makeup I need to get rid of I have new makeup but I just gotta like learn to do it again <laughs> and I want to I want to learn to do it again it just that takes like a minute too Because I feel so much better when I have makeup on my face. But anyways. Sorry that I have been such a mess online. And I get a lot of judgment for being that way. All I can say. I'm trying to change. Change can't happen overnight. And I want to change. I want to be a better person. I want to be a happier person. I want to be able to let things go easier. I just, you know. When you hold on to something so tight, your hand starts hurting, can start to bleed and cut. But when you let it go, all the pain goes away. So I get the, like, logistically, you know, I get it. Like, logic tells me, yes, that makes sense. Do that. And my heart is, like, hanging on to something that's not there anymore. But, like I said, the past few days I haven't had much to do, and I purposely planned that. I wanted to take a few days off, but it's, it really allows me too much time to think and then I start overthinking and then I start feeling alone and loneliness and I'm good about the first few days being alone but then it kicks in and then you're like oh man I don't want this anymore <laughs> but What I keep telling myself, and I truly believe this, is life is good. I'm feeling good. I'm just missing someone. 
missing a life you once had. It's so different now, you know? And I will say, unless you've dated someone that's on social media all the time for like their living, it's so hard to move on. I talked to another person who had a breakup recently. Like, they were both YouTubers. And I think I mentioned this already, but she was like, you know, no matter, you could be married and have kids and be like, with a new person people are still going to compare you and be like i wish you were with this person or or they'll keep telling you how the other person's doing that in my case it's this person's doing so great this person said this this person they'll show me clips and it's like to have to see that so imagine you're so in love with someone right and you break up like that's freaking hard everyone's gone through hard breakups but now think of it on social media where every single day you have to get updates about that person i'm being so honest like I can't watch his vlogs anymore. I just can't because it really does hurt me so much just to see him because it just hurts. And so I can't, I can't. And that's, that's healthy. I would say most people would say that's healthy. Don't, sorry, I just had a choking attack. You know, don't look at your ex's things. But people tell me, some people do it probably just to them tell me, but then there's some that do it so maliciously that just want to hurt me they like make up stuff that just they just want to hurt me i'm like that's hard like even though you can tell like, this person's just trying to attack me in any way they know and they know that's my weak spot right weak spots are trisha's weight and then obviously as of recently my ex <clears throat> so people come up with really cool things to say and it's just like so much harder especially someone like me who's extra sensitive so it's already hard enough for me to get over a relationship then to get over on social media but then to have people who actually hate me and just want to see me in pain and want to see me go crazy it's a longer process the absolute worst is um what was I going to say Oh, the worst is when I get, and they mean this as, like, trying to console me or trying to relate, I guess, to me. The worst is when people are like, yeah, I broke up with my ex five years ago, and I still think about him every day. <laughs> it's like, oh, my God, don't tell me. That. <laughs> That's what I don't want to do. Mm -mm. love is the worst feeling in the world and you know what it's no one's fault if you don't love someone and they love you like it's, it's not that person's fault that you don't love them like if you if you are the person that just can't love someone and someone's so in love with you like it's not your fault and yeah help who you're in love with and now I'm on this like the opposite end of being in love with someone who is not in love with me and it's so hard and and you know what? You know how I know? It's because even when we were still friends, and I would still say I was, like, in love with him, he would give me examples of when he was in love with someone that wasn't in love with him. And he's like, I know it sucks because, like, this person, it happened with me with this person. So he's trying to give me, like, examples. He goes, but one day, I just woke up, and I was like, this girl's an asshole to me. And so you're going to think that about me. And I was like, oh, my God, he's really trying to wean me off of him. So you start thinking about that stuff where you're just like, this is really just unrequited. This is not... It's ultimately not what I want. I don't want to be with someone who is with me because they're a nice guy, which he is a nice guy. But I don't want that one. Someone who's like head over heels in love. And I think at one point he was, because at one point he would just do anything for me. And I think, you know, you, I think the problem is you do lose things. I always told him my biggest fear was like someone just falling out of love with me. Um, and it happened quick. <laughs> um, and it sucks and it sucks. And at last someone pointed out, they weren't trying to be mean. And I, I understood what they were saying. It's like, he checked out long before I made a video, long before all that happened. You know, he was already checked out of the relationship and I I think I saw it I did see it I remember telling people I thought we were growing like apart so I did see it and it sucks and you know anyways I don't know I just hate like not holding back how I like, my thoughts and stuff and my emotion process and people just assuming I'm crazy when in reality I'm like heartbroken 
I was so heartbroken yesterday. I didn't even eat. I'm not aware for me when I have nothing to do. I usually binge. That's how I was starving this morning. I was so hungry when I woke up. Alright, guys. I need to pull over and figure out where I'm going. But thank you for joining me in these little car talks. Mm, look very, very. Thanks for sticking by me. I know I'm a lot. Hey guys, so I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Um, let me looking to see what was in this vlog. Oh, recording studio, my mama's house. Um, first, first of all, shout out to when you guys see me in public. That grove, the grove that day, I looked really bad. I looked really bad. Like this is why I need extensions because I just my my hair looked really bad. Um, that day at the Grove, when subscribers or people that watched me, like, came up to me, I really needed it that day. And her initial reaction, I wish I would have gotten, like, she, I, something, I heard her call my name, but, like, you don't really know for sure if someone, like, cares that much, or they're just trying to see if that's you. Anyways, she, and she came running up to me, and I was like, you know, I'm always so excited. I'm like, oh, hey, this girl, like, obviously just wanted, to, like, wanted to say hi. Like, she actually really did. It wasn't just, like, ta -da, you know, she was like. And then I saw her like crying and she was, you know, she's beautiful, you know, she's just like mature girl. And I was just like, I just, I was so confused even in the moment. I was just like, why are you crying? And then I was just like, I just felt her emotion. And that day in general, like the people that came up to me at the Grove that day, cause there was like a, a bunch of people that came up after that. They were so like, obviously these girls are a lot younger than me, but they were so mature and just like, Trisha, like, I know what you're going through. Like, if you do need someone, like, you know, talk to me on Instagram. Like, it really, really felt good. So I just know that when you guys come up to me, it means like so much, like more than I could ever, 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 ever say. And she was so cute to like, let me like, walk her. like, I know that sounds like, like I didn't want to in the moment. Cause like when people come up to me, I like to share that moment with them. I don't want to be like, hey guys, I'll look at my, you know, for my fans um no but like you know I like that moment but she was just so I just never had that reaction before and I was just like wow it's like it was really cool for me so probably cooler for me than it was even for her so thank you um okay so my hair transformation I'm talking about it towards the end I actually ended up putting up the hair transformation video on my main channel because Justin like did such an amazing job and I wanted to like go into more depth about it so you can go see that and like clips from the salon on my main channel um Kian and JC's video or reality show starts today, I think at noon on their channel. If this is up, I'll try and like link the thing below. Um, yeah, I saw the trailer today and I was a little mortified. I was like, oh, like drunk me. I'm like, oh, that's not me. That's Patricia. <laughs> like I was a little mortified. I'm, I'm hoping I'm not going to be so embarrassed tomorrow. Luckily, I was only drunk for the first night. <laughs> so anyways, um, we did competitions the first night though and I did a drunk, so go see how I did. It was, <laughs> well, we'll see how they edit it, but it was a fun experience. Like Keen and JC were actually like really, really cool and like really, really mature. And I was like really impressed that they put that all on like themselves. Like I was really impressed. I was like, this is a, this is a task. This is an undertaking. And they did really, really well. Um, so yeah, there was definitely drama in the house. There was definitely me always. Um, I don't even remember the fight they showed in the trailer. I'm a little, I'm like already embarrassed. So anyways, go support them. Like I could be a hot mess. I'm apologize. I apologize in advance if I am. <laughs> um, but yeah. Okay, guys, I'm going to get my life together. I got new hair, new hair, new care, Trish. Okay. All right, guys. Um, I think that's all I mentioned in the vlog. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I'm going on tour, obviously, in a week. <gasps> I'm for tour in what week? <gasps> what am I doing? I leave for tour in what week? <gasps> I'm, like, really excited. But I'm already exhausted. I have rehearsals every single day until tour, so... Wish me luck, heartbreaktour.com. Please get your tickets so people come watch the hard work we did. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll talk to you soon.